Hi, I'm Rebecca from DevourDinner.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy split pea soup in the Instant Pot. It's a fantastic recipe. My viewers have loved it and I hope you do too. This recipe has been a favorite on my site and it's really so easy. You have to try it. It cooks in a fraction of the time. But let's get started with our ingredients, all right? So, for this recipe, we're going to use some diced onion, a couple of stalks of celery, as well as some carrots that we'll dice up, and then we'll add into it some cubed ham. Now, if you have leftover ham, you can use that as well. This is always a recipe that I make right after the holidays when I have served ham for our family events, and it's wonderful to use that leftover ham. Before you get started, take the opportunity to rinse and drain your split peas. The split peas are covered in a fine dust. Oftentimes there might even be little bits of rocks. So rinse it in a colander, get all of that out and get it ready to use. The recipe calls for one small onion, but let's be honest, I have a hard time finding a small onion anymore. They're really big. So I just like to cut the onion in half, dice it up so it's nice, and fine and small. We're waiting for the instant pot to read hot on the front display. I've turned it on saute. Once it gets hot, we're gonna add in some butter and saute up this garlic and onion together. Waiting for the instant pot to heat up on saute to hot does take about seven to eight minutes. So plan your time accordingly when you're dicing your vegetables or doing whatever, it'll heat up, it's fine. Oh, there it goes. Now that the display of your Instant Pot is reading hot on the panel, it means we're ready to add in some butter. If you don't want to use butter, you could also add in some olive oil. You do want to make sure that you get either that olive oil or butter into the Instant Pot with that minced garlic pretty quickly because the garlic will burn. And then get your onions coated in that oil or that butter so that it can begin to saute. And this will take two to three minutes. So in the meantime, let's cut up our celery and our carrots so we're all ready to go. I'm using about three stalks of celery. We're gonna dice those thin and cut them in half, do the best that we can. It's all pretty simple. As the onions are sauteing, you will notice that they caramelize. You'll see a little bit of that brown on the bottom. That's completely normal. I'll show you how to deglaze the bottom of the pot in just a minute. After about two or three minutes, go ahead and turn the saute feature off and we'll deglaze the bottom of the pot. Deglazing the bottom of the pot just means that we're gonna add some thin liquid to the bottom and lift up any of the thing that might be stuck on the bottom. So I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of broth. And then we just stir and scrape. Pretty easily and pretty quickly, all of that caramelization from the onions is lifted up. We get those wonderful flavors. It's going to be fantastic. Go ahead and add our diced celery right into the pot. Dicing your baby carrots can seem a little tricky. Line them up in a line, get a good knife, just cut through them and just add them to your pot. I'm using a cubed ham today that I get over in the deli area of the grocery store. So we'll just toss that in, give this a stir. And of course, right on top, I'm going to add two cups of the split peas. Of course, we still need to add some broth, so I'll add four and a half cups of chicken broth. You could also use vegetable broth if you wish. You could also use water if that's what you prefer. When I run out of broth, I just top the rest off with a little bit of water. It saves me from opening a whole nother can of broth. I love all the colors. I love the chunky vegetables in here. It gives it nice texture and you will see how creamy and smooth it becomes when it's all cooked. You can season with a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. It also adds some good flavor 
And this is optional, but add a bay leaf. Just don't forget to pull it out before you mix everything at the end. Close and lock your lid, remembering to close the pressure valve in the back. And we're going to set this on pressure cook high for 15 minutes. It'll take a moment and you'll hear that beep. That beep tells you that your instant pot has accepted those readings. It's going to start heating up that bottom element, which will bring all of that thin liquid to a boil. As it comes to a boil, it'll create steam and steam creates pressure, which will seal off the instant pot. Then the timer will start. The timer will count down in numbers as it's processing. So keep an eye on it, but it will beep for you at the end so you'll know when to come back and take a look at it and open the pressure valve for a quick release. This recipe will pressure cook for 15 minutes and we will do a quick release right at the end. I don't remember what else you needed to hear. Our split pea soup is done. Let's open up the pressure. If you're new to pressure cooking, you want to open the release valve on the back. That's called quick pressure release. And you can use your fingers to open it. You can use like a spatula or a spoon so that your fingers are further away, whatever you choose. Remember the steam that comes out is hot. So remove your instant pot away from your cabinets, from any overhead lights, because all of that steam is going to hit them. Let's do this. Now that all that pressure has been released, we're gonna go ahead and open up the lid. More steam will come out, so don't put your face right over the top. And also for all of you who are new to pressure cooking, remember that the little tab on your lid fits right into the handles. That way all the condensation from inside can drip and drain down into the collection cup in the back. Super handy place for it because it is hot, so you don't wanna touch it. If you put the bay leaf in there, remember that's optional, but make sure to pull that out because you don't want that in your finished soup. So we're just gonna lift that out, throw it away. Now let's just stir this up. All of those split peas are gonna break apart and thicken up this soup. As you stir the soup, it will thicken. All of those split peas will break apart. It just turns this creamy, yummy, delicious, all on its own. But look, we still have the thickness of the carrots, the celery, the ham chunks right there. It's a delicious soup. Are you ready for a bowl? Here's a quick tip for you. If your split pea soup is too thick, add a little bit more thin liquid. You can add broth, whether it is chicken broth or vegetable broth or even some water, and it will thin it down. One thing that I love to do with my split pea soup, well, for most of my recipes, I love super cubes. This is not sponsored. I bought these, I use them, I love them, but I do have an affiliate link in the description below if you would like to order some of your own. They are wonderful. It is a silicone base with a hard plastic top. They come in multiple sizes. This is the one cup size. And you can fill up each of these wells with your leftovers and you can freeze it. The great thing about it is these pop out easily and quickly once they're frozen. They're not hard to do at all. And these clean up beautifully. Anyway, get yourself some super cubes. You'll love it. I'll just show you how to fill some of this up. Now I've got four servings that I can enjoy for lunch another day. It's wonderful to take to the office and you just heat it up in the microwave. It's fantastic. Um, the rest will be served for dinner with some French bread, you name it, but it's wonderful and we love it. Let's go ahead and dish up some split pea soup and enjoy a bowl. Hey, have you given this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified of all of my new videos coming out. All right, shameless plug over. Let's dive in. Look at this split pea soup. Lots of good texture. The split peas have all broken down. The flavor is spot on. This is truly a recipe you will love. Fantastic soup, A plus. This soup has gotten rave reviews by so many of my viewers. Make sure to check out the notes section for other quick tips. It's a wonderful recipe. All right, everybody, have a great day. 
Don't forget to stay tuned and watch the bloopers at the end. They're always worth watching. Bye now. And dice that up. Okay, I'm having hair problems today, people. Let's try that again. My hair is doing this Farrah Fossa swoop kind of thing. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know, what do you think? Growing your hair out is so hard, so hard. It falls in your eyes, it drives you crazy. But I'm learning and we're getting better. Now that the pressure cooker, now that our pressure cooker is reading hot, ooh, let's try that again.